Greetings and salutations, folks. I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We are saving the world here one trailer at a time. Today, we're going to take a look at a 2022 Winnebago Mini Flex, model number 2108TB. We got the twin beds up front, rear bedroom, side slide, but the Flex version has those high out, sorry, high efficiency output appliances. We got the 320 watt lithium amp battery, the 3000 watt inverter. We got a whole lot going on here. I know, Brandon, we got the shower miser, buddy. This is a great trailer. Ah, I love the smell of trailers in the morning. Say hello to my friend, Brandon Hannemeyer on the camera today. Brandon? How's it going, happy campers? Thank you so much for tuning in to the number one RV YouTube channel in the world. Please smash that subscribe button, hit that like button. We're on Instagram, we're on TikTok, and we're on Facebook if you want to follow us along there. We're having fun on all those platforms. I really, really like these flexes. They're doing something that no one else is, and I love that about Winnebago. Enjoy this video. Right on, Brandon. We've got a high energy, uh, sorry, high efficiency AC on this guy, the on-demand Truma water heater. Basically, we're gonna be able to run this thing off that lithium battery for days. Even the 110 appliances love it. We got that great look in front, fiberglass cap in through here. The, the green etching is how you can tell the flex from the regular mini. We've got this wicked deckle right here that makes you makes you think about your life. Right, yeah, Brennan? Yeah, does get that tattooed on my chest. Tattooed on your chest. <laughs> a great pass through in through here. It's, a, it's the best pass through on the minis because of the twin bed layer in through here. So a twin bed, or we can turn that into a king size bed. We're gonna get to it. Front power jack, 20 bumper paint tanks. Uh, there's no battery in box in through here because our battery is actually built in to the, the, the center console right in through there. So that's where your inverter and your uh, lithium battery is. We got uh, just a ton of great storage in there that's accessible from the inside or from the outside. We have our Swintec style slide pulling our couch off the floor on this guy. We've got electric jacks all the way around. Um, and they're individually switched. We are literally plugged into the earth right now, Brandon. We got sunlight charging that battery. We love it. Satellite cable inlet right in through here. City water connection, outside shower. And then your, uh, pardon me, that's your city water. That's your block water flush kit. There's your on-demand Truma water heater. We've got a roof ladder. Get up on your roof, check your seals every 90 days. Full size spare. We're gonna put a beautiful, beautiful lazy acre tire cover on there for you. And then here's our electric awning starting right here at the back, going all the way forward. I like how it comes past the door a good three, four feet. It means there's not gonna be rain coming in from the side on you like that. We got our two-step aluminum tread steps, lend a hand, grab handle, good to your tires on this guy with torsion suspension, great looking aluminum rims with good looking mudder tires as well. Freshwater fill here, outside shower, outside TV location. There's your furnace vent kitchen window how we doing brandon great that's such a clean furnace fan isn't it good job on a bag out <laughs> put a bag out. let's go have a look inside right on folks we're inside that 2108 tb now you've seen a few videos of these the 2108 ds and the 2108 fbs basically the differences on those is the front bed configuration so the ds has a murphy bed the fbs has a front walk around queen and then the tb has the twin bed action. So we got single beds here on both sides. Um, and this does make for the most amount of pass-through storage in through there. We've got access to that pass-through from both sides in through here. Okay. And then we've got big windows here on either side. We've got a lot of storage all the way across the top in through here. Okay, we've got a great shelf right here with a 110 receptacle and a USB and a great bedside table. Now to turn this into a king size bed, that is pretty easy. There's basically like a wood block right in through here. Oops. This is gonna fit in like that. You get the comfort out of the way. And then there's two pieces right here. These obviously wouldn't be covered in plastic unless you have a problem with wetting the bed. <laughs> um, right there. My wife told me that everybody's mattresses were wrapped in plastic. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, Just kidding. oh okay. <laughs> Just gonna let you know. Um, <laughs> so yeah, then we're turning that into a king size bed. Voila, easy peasy. I think that's slick, right, Brendan? Very slick. 
And then the other option here is this uh, Tri-Glide Sofa or the Dinette. Um, you know, I'm, I'm actually 50-50 on this, not sure which one I like more. Basically, this pulls straight out into a big double bed in through here. And there's a table that fits into this bracket, swivels around, is nice and handy. And that's also hiding behind this cupboard right here, which I already slammed once today. There we go. Across from all that, we have our kitchen space. This is a 12 volt, 10 cubic foot fridge. We got our convection microwave, a great backsplash. I love the backsplashes always on these Winnebago's. Glass stove top cover, hiding our three burner stove top. We got white lights here, Brendan. I know you like the blue. White's nice too. Pot and pan drawer down through there. And this is gonna pop down, just hiding our breakers and our fuses. Big cupboard right there. We always get these, eh, Brandon? Yeah, the covers. Yeah. Nice covers here. There's one on either side, which is great. We've got a pop-down piece here, two drawers, and then a pop-down piece here at the bottom as well. Stainless steel sink. All this is seamless countertops, pull-up faucet, kitchen window, pop-up uh, counter extension right in through there. And then our plates and cup action is right in through here. There's a whole lot of manuals on these guys because we got all those high efficiency appliances we've talked about in through there. We actually control our AC, our furnace, our water heater, all that right from this Truma thermostat right there. We've got our TV. It is on arm. We can bring that out, have it face the couch if you like. We have a charging space spot right here that runs off of 12 volts. It's going to charge your cell phone for you. We've got a great storage piece there for your pantry. And then I would say we got a nice little spot right there. We got the JBL sound system. How are we doing here in the living space, Brendan? We hit it all. All right, man. We've got our toilet, plastic toilet. There's no doubt the dump truck fits in through here. We've got a linen closet, more linen closet. We have our stainless steel sink on and off of the light switches, cupboard right through there, medicine cabin right there. Now, did you like the way I described the, the shower miser last time, Brendan? Yeah, you did a good job. Okay, all right. So. Lots of override height here in the shower, not a shower door, but then here's the shower miser. Now, you know, in the morning when you get up, <clears throat> or at the afternoon, whatever, you turn on the shower, but it takes that, you know, five, 10 seconds, maybe 20 seconds to get the hot water through the taps. That's all wasted water, right? So we don't want to do that when we're in a dry campus situation. So we just turn this valve down, that recycles the water in through there until it gets to a hot temperature and you're ready to go shower, flip that on, Bingo bang, you've got immediate hot water and you haven't wasted any in the meantime. That's the video, folks. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave us a comment down below. Hit us up on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Have yourself a good day.